So his topic is ultrafilter. We start with the definition of an ultrafilter. A filter F on a non-empty set X is said to be an ultrafilter on X if and only if F is not properly contained in any other filter on X. Thus, F is an ultrafilter on X if and only if for any filter F dash on X, F dash contains F implies F dash is equal to F. If we consider the collection of all filters on a non-empty set X, then that collection is partially ordered by inclusion relation. Why? Because we know that inclusion relation is, is reflexive, it is anti-symmetric and it is also transitive. And so, um, the collection of all filters on set X form a partially ordered set. And if we uh, uh, consider the maximal element of that partially ordered set, then we find that any maximal element of the partially ordered set is an ultrafilter on X. For example, if we consider set X consisting of three elements A, B and C, then the filter consisting of singleton set B, doubleton set consisting of A and B, doubleton set consists of B and C and the whole set X, then this is an ultra filter on X because we cannot find any filter on X which properly contains this filter. Similarly, the filter consists of singleton set A, doubleton set AB, doubleton set AC and the whole set X. It is also an ultra filter on X. And similarly, the filter consists of singleton C, doubleton set consisting of B and C, doubleton consisting of A and C and the whole set X. This is also an ultra filter on X and we cannot uh, find any other ultra filter on this set X. Now we have a theorem which states that every filter on a non-empty set X is contained in an ultra filter on X. Let us prove this theorem. Let F be a filter on X and M be the collection of all filters on X containing F. As F belongs to M, so M is non-empty. Clearly, M is partially ordered by the inclusion relation. Let H be the totally ordered subset of M. What do you mean by a totally ordered set? Let me recall you. That H is a totally ordered subset of M means for any two members F1 and F2 in H, either H1, F1 is contained in F2 or F2 is contained in F1. Means any two elements are related. Let G is equal to union of all members of totally ordered set H. First, we show that G is a filter on X. Clearly, G is non-empty. Why? Because F is contained in each F lambda for F lambda in H. And so, F is contained in G. Now, we have to check all the properties of a filter. As each F lambda is a filter on X, so Phi doesn't belong to F lambda for all F lambda belongs to H and so Phi doesn't belong to the union that is C. Now we have to check the second property that A belongs to G and A is contained in B. Then by definition of G, A belongs to F lambda for some F lambda belongs to H. Since F lambda is a filter, A belongs to F lambda and A is contained in B. So, by definition of filter, B belongs to F lambda. And if B belongs to F lambda, 
for some f lambda i and h so b belongs to the union that is b belongs to g now we have to check the third property let a belongs to g and b belongs to g then by definition of g a belongs to f lambda and b belongs to f mu for some f lambda f mu in h as h is totally ordered either f lambda is contained in f mu or f mu is contained in f lambda therefore both a and b belong to either f lambda or f mu and since f lambda and f mu are filters so intersection of a and b is in f lambda or f mu hence a intersection b belongs to g thus g is a filter on x evidently g is finer than every member of h because g is nothing but union of all members of h and so uh, g is finer than every member of h g is a filter and g contains every member of h so g is finer than every member of h so g is an upper bound of h as m is a non empty partially ordered set in which every totally ordered subset has an upper bound so by zons lemma m contains a maximal element say f tag let me recall you that zons lemma states that if every totally ordered subset of a non empty partially ordered set has an upper bound then that partially ordered set contains maximal element and so we here assume that f dash is a maximal element of m this maximal element f dash is an ultra filter on x containing f now we have a very important theorem which states that a filter f on a non empty set x is an ultra filter if and only if f contains all those subsets of x which intersect every member of f let us prove this theorem let f be a filter on x such that f contain all those subsets of x which intersect every member of f so we have to prove that f is an ultra filter on x if possible let f dash be a filter on x such that f is contained in f dash let f dash belongs to filter f dash as f dash is a filter intersection of any two members of f dash is non empty so f dash intersects every member of f dash because intersection of f dash um, with any member of f dash is non empty that means f dash intersects every member of f dash as f is contained in f dash so f dash intersects every member of filter f also but we have assumed that f contains all those subsets of x which intersect every member of f and so by hypothesis f dash belongs to filter f as we have taken f dash any member of f dash and we have shown that f dash belongs to filter f and so every member of f dash is a member of f that means f dash is contained in filter f as we have assumed that f is contained in f dash now we have shown that f dash is contained in f and so f dash is equal to f hence f is an ultra filter on x as we have shown that there does not exist any filter um, f dash which properly contains f so f is an ultra filter on x conversely let f be an ultra filter on x and we have to show that 
and F contains all those subsets of X which intersect every member of F. So let A be a subset of X intersecting every member of filter M. Then we have to show that A belongs to F. Now consider the following collection which we denote by F dash consisting of all those subsets F dash which contain a intersection F for some F in filter F. We claim that F dash is a filter on X containing filter F. As for each F belongs to F dash, F contains a intersection F and so F by definition of f dash f belongs to f dash as each member of filter f belongs to f dash so filter f is contained in the collection f dash next we show that f dash is a filter on x so we have to check the three properties of a filter so now check the first property as A intersection F is non-empty for every F in filter F because we have assumed that A intersects every member of F. So A intersection F is non-empty for every F belongs to F and each member of F dash contains A intersection F by definition of F dash. Each member of F dash contains in A intersection F. And so, no member of F dash is empty. Now, we have to check the second property. Let F dash belongs to F dash and F dash is contained in G dash. Then, F dash contains A intersection F for some F belongs to F. By definition of F dash, if F dash belongs to F dash, that means there exists some F in filter F such that F dash contains A intersection F. And so G dash contains A intersection F because F dash contains A intersection F and F dash itself is contained in G dash. So G dash contains A intersection F. So, by definition of F dash, G dash belongs to F dash. Now, we have to check the third property. Let F dash belongs to F dash and G dash belongs to F dash. We want to show that F dash intersection G dash belongs to F dash. But by definition of F dash, F dash contains A intersection F for some F in filter F and G dash contains A intersection G for some G in filter F. And so F dash intersection G dash contains A intersection F intersection A intersection G. So F dash intersection G dash contains A intersection F intersection G. Here we note that since F and G are members of filter F and we know that filter F is closed under finite intersection, so F intersection G belongs to F. So we have shown that F dash intersection G dash contains A intersection F intersection G where F intersection G belongs to F. So by definition of F dash, F dash intersection G dash belongs to filter F dash. Thus, we have shown that F dash is a filter on X containing F. Since F is an alpha filter on X, so we must have F is equal to F dash. We know that any ultra filter is not contained in any other ultra filter. And so F must be equal to F dash. As F is a filter on X, so we know that X always belongs to F. And so A is, contains A intersection X, 
which implies that A belongs to um, F dash by definition of F dash um, since A contains A intersection X where X belongs to F so A belongs to filter F dash and since F is equal to F dash so A also belongs to F. We have shown that if A is any subset of X which intersects every member of F then A belongs to F. Hence we can say that F contains all those subsets of X which intersect every member of F. Thank you.